Dozens of tents remain under the Ship Canal Bridge. Despite multiple shootings and fires in the past few weeks, the Washington State Department of Transportation remains paralyzed when it comes to this property, even though Governor Inslee says they're making progress elsewhere. In the last several months, we've seen quite a number of these encampments are removed. And there's no timeline on when this problematic encampment will be cleared. We have rats crawling all over our feet. So this weekend, neighbors called homeless outreach group We Heart Seattle to do something about it. It's just a bunch of tents in an open air drug scene. And that's exactly what they did. It shows them that you care. Volunteers removed thousands of pounds of trash, but also encouraged some of the homeless living here to pitch in. It's my fault. It looks like this. I have I have a part on it for it to look like this. And that's the key. But at the same time, kind of shame because it's it got to this point. James Acord says he's ready to take the next step if someone is willing to walk with him on the journey. Not held my hand, but it kind of like gave me the, the push I need. I'll, I'll, I know I could do better. But he says so far, outreach workers with the King County Regional Homelessness Authority have not come by. The agency is responsible for getting people living on Washdot property in Seattle into shelters. No, no, not yet. As for this encampment, it opens up into the quiet Wallingford neighborhood, right next to an elementary school and this boarded up house. Neighbors have complained about squatters breaking in, playing loud music at night and trashing the area. Oh, we're doing the same thing. That's why WeHeart volunteers Tracy Belair and Derek Hanish went in to check to see if they could help. And this is what they found. Yeah, this, they're trying to keep this one okay. Piles of junk. It's kind of a lot, don't you? Human feces. This is a new one for me. I've been out with We Are Seattle 15 times. Rotting food and signs of drug use. And living in one of the rooms. Nails. All right, I'm Tracy. A woman who goes by autopsy. How long have you been in this house? Uh, this house? She also says some of the homeless living at the Ship Canal Bridge encampment are now squatting in other houses nearby. I mean, there used to be like a gang of people that I used to help out. But Sorry, the light. After the cops came through, they kind of scared them all off, so they're all at the other houses in the area. But would not share the locations. My name's Tracy. Bel Air tried to convince her to leave with them, but autopsy refused. If you wanted to get anywhere, try and get in, trying to shelter, trade, Yeah, I got anything. accepted into housing, but they like lost funding or something, so I've been waiting. You live right next to a squatter house right now. Yeah. At this point, neighbor Matthew Rowe says he's just dealing with it. There's, there's no way this is like a livable place. While Amy Hernandez is wondering how much longer. Especially having a school right in front. Until authorities acknowledge the gravity of this situation and clear this encampment that's become a blight on her neighborhood. I always go down the street around. Um, I'd rather walk further than, than um, go through that area.